Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we are currently about ready to head over and land at the combined Duna Lander. We do need to head on over to the ascending node here and just change our inclination. This is going to be... Yep, this is about the right direction. Cool. So something along the lines of... This would do. Fantastic. So let's just get our inclination changed. Let's head on over to the node. I do have all of these engines activated right now. I'm going to shut them down because I don't actually want to fire these engines at this time. I only want to be firing the nerve here. So we'll do that for the time being. Let's get positioned at the node. And let's get our inclination change underway here. Cool. So we're going to warp on forward. This is not going to be much of a warp. Okay. It's going to continue to warp us for another few seconds here. There we go. And now let's warp forward ourselves just a little further. Two, one, zero, and mark. Beautiful. Hmm. It's very confused about our thrust to weight ratio. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be spicy. The game is very confused about what we've got going on here, and I don't blame it. To be fair, what we have going on here is very confusing. So let's see how this ends up going. It was such a small thrust to weight, but such a small differential of what we needed that I think it's probably still okay. 0.8 degrees off. I call that good enough. Okay, so we would bring this on in around here. And we do a retrograde burn so that we are passing over top of our destination point. So we would want to bring this in to be somewhere around, if I can get this selected properly, there we go, somewhere around here or so. That looks reasonable to start with. So that's 167.4 meters per second. And we're only going to be firing with this engine. Now, I want to, I think, break these out into another stage here. Okay. I think the game is going to be a little smarter now about what we've got going on. Although, technically, I'm realizing that I don't think that I have tested whether these engines work or not. That'll be interesting to find out. Let's pull some fuel on in into this center tank. We're still removing fuel here. Oh, I want to point out, I balanced the fuel out here by moving all of the fuel into outer tanks and then moving them back in. So the fuel up here should be relatively balanced, although there might be slightly more liquid fuel than oxidizer. That's okay. So they're relatively balanced at this point. The real question now is, do these engines actually work? The answer to that is a definite maybe. Definite maybe. We'll see. Obviously, our thrust to weight is too low on the nuclear engine to land on just the nuclear engine. But I want to burn on just the nuclear engine while we're doing these maneuvers here. And we can see that this is now updating correctly for our correct burn time. So that's good. We're going to get about a five minute burn here. That should easily burn up all of this remaining fuel out here. No problem whatsoever on that front. We're just making our way on around here. And let's physics warp as we turn into our location here. There we go. And we'll be starting this burn right about now. Now, this is very low thrust to weight. This is not actually where I anticipated this coming in at. We're not actually that concerned about this scenario, though. So we're just going to continue to burn here until we see it about where we want it to go, which is impacting somewhere out over here. Cool. So we now see our impact trajectory. That's looking good. And let's just bring this in until the bullseye is about here or thereabouts. Should be fine. Little bit further. Yeah, we're not going to have to burn this full amount, that's for sure. Here should be pretty decent. So let's come out of the physics warp, stop our burn, 
And from here, we're going to pull the remainder of this fuel out. We didn't quite get it all, but that's okay. Now I'm going to activate these engines. And now is the moment where we hope that this is actually, you know, functional. But I think it is. We see our thrust to weight is 8.88. So hopefully. Now we're going to coast for a bit here. We don't actually care about this maneuver. We want to be at surface velocity minus... And we're just going to coast on in until we are roughly here. Once we're here, we're going to want to bring in our fall until we're basically straight up and down, like so. Targeting this point. So we may as well head over to the node, right? That's fine. And this is such a, such a long burn if we were to burn it on just the nuclear engine that I really do think we do need to have the poodles firing here. So we'll certainly have that happen. We're going to warp on forward a little bit. This node is going to be in about five minutes. It'll be about a 30 second burn. So let's head on forward here. Cool. And we're almost certainly going to have to make some adjustments on the way down, right? But that's not a big deal. 30 seconds, 20, 10. And now let's position for the burn. Four, three, two, one, zero, and mark. Okay, so we can see we've got our nuclear engine and all of these engines burning here. I want to pull in the liquid fuel out of these tanks. The real question is, how are we doing up here? And it looks like that's reasonably fine. We don't have a huge oxidizer shortage, it looks like. So that looks good. Three, two, one, and zero. Really what we're looking to do here is kill our horizontal speed. So let's go to horizontal speed minus. Where are we in relation... Okay, is here? I feel like we're coming down a little early. Okay. We need to push the node together here, the way we have with our docking procedures. So we're just going to push the node out over this direction. Just so that our retrograde, our target retrograde, is basically right on anti-target. Okay, now we should be falling virtually straight down. Not quite. Are we going up right now? No, we're going down. Okay, we're coming down over on this side. Apparently the game thinks we're coming down over here, but that's incorrect. So we're going to be coming down kind of close to the relay, but we're going to need to change where we're coming in, right? There's no doubt about that. Let's head over to surface velocity minus. Is it really surface velocity that we want to have over here? You know, I think it might be, not target velocity. Let's just bring our surface velocity on over and see what that ends up doing. Yeah, that's more like it. That looks about right. Okay, so how long until impact here? About three minutes. Cool. So for right now, I'm going to go to surface velocity minus and we'll just chill over here. We should probably remember to extend our landing legs. That tends to help. One, two, three, and... Four. Cool. There we go. And we're just going to accelerate on in. We can see that our DV is going to be about 208 meters per second. I'm going to physics warp on the way down here, not regular warp. And it does look like we're going to want to head a little bit more over this way, right? So we can make some small corrections here. I'm going to do that at about 1 minute 30 until our countdown. Okay, coming out of physics warp here, and let's just head this direction and push that guy right on over. Cool. That's a reasonable corrective burn, but I want to come out over this direction and just get another very small correction going on. Okay. That'll do for now. And we're just coming gently on in. We want to land very, very close to this thing, right? Like, very, very close. So we're going to bring this in, and we can see that we're drifting off again. We're going to have to do another corrective burn, almost certainly. 
Well, not almost, certainly. Definitely we're going to have to do another corrective burn. But I don't yet see our landing bullseye. So for now, we're going to continue heading on over this direction. Okay. Back to surface velocity minus. Is that the landing bullseye there? No, surely not. Surely that's incorrect. Surface velocity is taking us down over here. Oh, that's it right there. Okay, cool. So now that we can see that, I actually want to bring it over this direction a little bit. I'm keeping an eye on that countdown. Okay, get over to surface velocity minus, like, right now. Please? Okay, we're going to have to do something like this to get ourselves over here a little bit more quickly. Okay, so we're going to bring this on down. And we're going to need... Uh, this thing doesn't like to rotate very quickly. We're going to need to bring it over, not this direction, the exact opposite. We're going to need to bring it over the... No. I'm thinking the wrong directionalities here. Okay, sure. Well, also, MechJeb is just trying to pull us over to surface velocity minus all the time, which is not <laughs> tremendously helpful. And we're not rotating giga fast either. Let's grab this remainder of this fuel from the outside tanks here. Okay. And let's bring this right on in on Kill Rot this time. So I want to bring us up over... Well, okay, we're a little further away than I want to be here, so we're actually going to start going up again here. Go over to Kill Rot, and I want to take us up over here. Now go to Surface Velocity Minus. Oh, we turn so slowly. We turn so slowly. Man, we just turn tremendously slowly right now. Okay, where is our impact point? Over here. Completely the wrong direction. Okay, let's make our way over to our location. Come on, make your way over to surface velocity minus. Okay, just hold here. Okay, now go to surface velocity minus. If only we turned at a measurable rate. Actually, this is a measurable rate. But we're just going to bring this on in. Okay. This is kind of okay. The main problem right now is we're facing, you know, entirely the wrong direction. But we can do something kind of like this. And bring ourselves in a bit gently. Okay. Something kind of like this. Okay. It's not great. Right? But it does work as a landing. We're a little further away than I was hoping to be. It was definitely a jankier landing. I was hoping to land, like, right over here. Now, we could try to make our way over there. We're not tremendously low on fuel. Alternatively, we could just see if we can reach far enough. I'm not sure if we can. I don't know. That's going to be a little close. We could try again and go virtually straight up 
and then just try to land a little bit closer. So we would just burn here. For a little bit here, getting ourselves some vertical speed. And our impact trajectory is currently there. So we would need to head over this direction if we can turn. Which is difficult. And we would just get some... And yeah, just be on kill rot for right now. Something kind of like that. And then we head over to surface velocity minus. And we bring this right on in. This is definitely much closer. Okay, we're going to go to up right now. We kind of landed right on our stuff, <laughs> but that's certainly a lot closer. We're 13 meters away. Beautiful. I mean, that should work. I don't know if we destroyed any of this stuff, but this stuff is actually kind of no longer necessary. So yeah, this is, this is a much better position. So I like it. At this point, we need to have... Dunhat EVA. And we need to extend these ladders here. Beautiful. So Dunhat, no, not Dunhat, uh, Bill EVAs. And I want to grab, oh, we don't have this ladder extended. Go ahead and extend that ladder there, Bill. Okay. Okay. So that's all fine, right? We need to go down to the bottom here. So we're going to let go. And we're just going to fall straight on down. With our amazing frame rate that we've got right now. This will, of course, get better, this frame rate. What is that walk, Bill? What are you doing? I have no idea what Bill's doing here. Okay. He's just kind of flailing about. <laughs> Well, have fun with that, Bill. We're just going to head straight on through here. With the goal being from here that we are going to attach... Okay, we need to go into our construction mode. We're going to attach out of here, if we can reach it. Have to get a little bit closer. There we go. We're going to grab this guy. And we'll just set that down here for now. Then we'll come on over this direction. And we can't reach up for the moment. So we'll just put that there, and then we'll go attach it there. Cool. So now this has an outpost again. And we know that we lost this guy, right? So that was one of our cooling apparatuses. Apparatus? Apparati? One of our cooling devices. And we are going to just pop on over here, of course, and come out of construction mode. There we go. I don't seem to be able to reach these guys. There we go. We'll extend that radiator and this radiator. My question is, if we were to run this at this point, which we would want to probably just swap over to here to do, right? If we were to run this... Apparently we can't click on any of this stuff. Oh, is this not properly attached? I bet that that's... Yeah, I think that's not properly attached. Okay, Bill. We're going to have you go on up there again. So you're going to position here. RCS on. Jump on up. And you're just going to go park up here. Not like that. No, don't, don't destroy the solar panel, Bill. So what we've got here is we have this that's just sitting on top. So I'm going to grab this guy. And for the time being, we're just going to park that out here. Then I'm going to... Nope. Hmm. Where are we going to put this then? I want to just... 
grab this, but apparently that's not a thing. Bill? Bill. Bill. There we go. He was busy welding that whole time. Okay. All according to plan. So Bill is going to come up over here, and his goal at this point is simply to remove this decoupler, right? So we're just going to push this. I really don't want it to fall into the solar panel. We're going to push it up this way. Okay. Now, we still can't attach this here, but we'll just place it here for the time being. And that falls down and hopefully doesn't destroy anything in the process. Cool. Whoa, okay. Something just horribly broke. I think it was just... the decoupler. But where did our controller go? <laughs> you know, I think I may have lost it. I'm not sure where that controller went. It was just up here. Do we actually need it? I think so. We could theoretically try to grab the one that's here. Or we could try to swap to it to figure out where it is. Lander relay. Madbro did not set up this flag. Experiment control station. No, it seems to just be gone. Straight up gone. Okay, that was exciting. Well, we do have a backup system. It is over here, and I have no idea if Bill can actually get it from here. That's very awkward. It was intended that we... I have no idea where that thing even went. Literally none. I guess we could see when the last autosave was, because I would, I would characterize everything that happened here as a bug, as a Kraken bug. So when was that? Year 45, day 275, 0 hours, 26 minutes. No, I don't want to be warping. Okay, we've got some weirdness happening here. Let's see what happens if we load up the persistent save and see where this is. I would characterize that as a bug because it just vanished. I have no idea where it went. And everything just kind of crackened around there. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, it's putting us back in the KSC. That's rude. Anytime now, KSC. Okay, let's hop to the tracking station. And then we'll load into Ike. So Bill is EVA'd and has been for three minutes. I think that the explosion hasn't happened yet at this point. That's my theory. Now, to be clear, the decoupler exploding was a Kraken event. It shouldn't have impacted the ground enough to destroy it. I don't mind the, the decoupler being destroyed. What I do mind is the fact that the experiment, con or not the experiment control station. Uh huh, the decoupler's here. We're just kind of floating in the air. Okay. And I do not see the remote guidance unit. Correct. I do not see the remote guidance unit. Okay, I guess we're going to have to go for the backup route. So... Bill is, of course, hovering here. And I guess we're just going to waddle our way on over here. 
This is going to be really weird. Can we even take these parts apart, though? I don't know. We've got some major issues going on here. So let's detach this for now. We'll detach this. We're going to have to put these back on, of course. And then we'd need to transfer Jebediah. And actually, we shouldn't do this. What we should do is we should have Jebediah EVA. There we go. Jebediah climbs down. And then grabs on to the ladder that's down here and hopefully can help move some of these parts, right? So we want to move down to this ladder. Then let's have Bill EVA, or not Bill, let's have Dunhat EVA. Come on, Dunhat. There we go. Let go, and we're going to have Dunhat come over and stand on this docking port. Okay. Now we're going to have Bill... See, with the Kerbals assisting, if we can lift this part. Okay, we're currently falling. Let's make our way back up. And we're just going to go stand up over here. Weight limit is 1.69 tons. I think that we can't move this part. Okay. Okay. So what happened then? <laughs> what happened to our part? I don't think it exploded. I think it just vanished on us. We can try this one, but I think this is a quick save I made before the landing. I'm pretty sure it is. So I might have to redo the landing off camera. I don't know. That was quite a kraken. No doubt about that. Let's see what we've got here. Actually, you know what? We could just try to use the cheat menu to get us back to the same point we were at before. We'd have extra fuel, but we're th this is a refueling station. Like, we are literally going to fill up with fuel from mining. Yeah, this is back where I thought it was. So, I think we'll try that. We'll see if we can get ourselves put back down there and get back to the same point as quickly as possible. Because that's definitely some crackeny bugs going on there. So let's see what we've got here for options. We can go into here, set position. Or actually, it would be set orbit, right? We'd want this to be the... The combined Duna Lander. Let's see here. It's in here somewhere. I'm sure. The other thing we could do is set position and use middle mouse click and set our position that way. So that may be the best bet. So for now, we would set this over on Ike. Can we middle mouse click out here? No, we have to be basically on the ground. Okay, do we know what the latitude and longitude here is? 9 and 66, we can call it. With the altitude of ideally zero. Ease to ground, sure. And let's see where that puts us. Okay, we're facing the wrong direction here. Oh, this is so laggy. Okay, we'll flip over to up, but this isn't actually where we want to be. We actually want to be out over here. And I want the altitude to be like, I don't know, 20. So we would end up being... Oh, this isn't actually using middle mouse click. Okay. So we would actually end up being somewhere around like here, right? Altitude of 20. And then we would set it to up. So this is basically where we were, except on the other side here. I don't know if 20 altitude is actually enough to bring us to the ground. That should be enough. Is that enough time to turn? Actually, no. We're going to go to 40 altitude. But this is basically the exact same place that we landed before, but on the other side. And I don't mind it being on the other side. That's fine. 
Okay. We're trying to flip this over here to being up. Do we succeed? We might need to go slightly higher. No, I think we're good. Okay. We're slightly further away. That's not a big deal. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to have Bill EVA. And we're going to be a little bit more careful this time to not create a Kraken. With the frame rate the way it's at here right now, Krakening is very, very possible. Perhaps even likely. That's not what I wanted to do. I kind of impacted it. <laughs> okay, Bill. Get up. Jump up. There you go. And all we're looking to do is get this out of here, right? No, Bill, don't. He hit his head. Come on, Bill. There you go. Up you go. Beautiful. Now push it going off this direction. And we haven't gotten out the other component yet. So that falls. Goes down to the ground. I'm going to quick save now. Okay. So we're basically just rebuilding the state we were in before the Kraken happened, right? That's the idea here. Cool. Now we're going to go fetch our component. Which is here. And we'll just set that down on the ground for now. With the idea being... I have no idea why Bill is like wiggling like that. That's a very off-putting, Bill. I don't recommend that. So now we're just going to jump, grab this... And attach it there the way it was always intended to be. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have that there, we now actually have a way to control this craft. Beautiful. We can deploy this drill. And deploy this drill. I don't know about heat here, but we also don't have anywhere to store fuel, right? So that's a thing that we don't have just yet until we connect up over here. However, creating the arm that will connect up to this monstrosity and uh, getting these individually refueled and heading back to the station, that will be a next episode sort of thing. I gotta admit, that Kraken was unexpected. <laughs> you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, and Lohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kentogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.